What is up you guys? It's Kati Volks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another quarantine vlog. So yeah, I thought we'd vlog again today because I thought I'd have some fun. Try to make something again in the kitchen. Let's see if I don't fail. Um, but I wanted to get back to my roots and make some bangubano. So I'm Cuban bread because if you didn't know, I'm Cuban. So I've got ingredients here. Um, it just requires like flour dry active yeast usually it's lard but i'm gonna do vegetable shortening for the vegan version so let me get the ingredients together and i'll show you okay so i'm taking a recipe that i found online and i'm just gonna cut it in half um but it's gonna require two cups of flour two teaspoons of sugar one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of the dry active dry yeast uh one and a half tablespoons of the shortening and half a cup of water so yeah let's get started One hour later. One hour later Much, much, much later. You know what I did, right? I grabbed it. 
All right, so the bread finally cooled down and unfortunately our oven kind of sucks. So it's not always consistent. My mom recommended next time just lowering it by like 25 degrees and then just cooking it for the full 30 minutes because I did take it out a little early because like it looks soft and stuff on top and then kind of toasted on the bottom. So my dad said that it tasted good, but here, the reveal. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. It's very much like, very similar to like a French baguette or Italian bread, but it's different. I read because of like the fact that it usually uses either lard or the vegetable shortening, as well as like, I guess the baking method. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That is so good. I did like half the amount of the recipe. So definitely now that it was successful, make like a full batch. So, mm-hmm. Mm. I can't wait to make a loaf of that because that is so good. Okay, I had way too much fun making that bread that I did a full batch. So I'm excited to see how this comes out and the loaf. So I only just split it in half. So one of these is the size of the batch that I just made last because I want to give one to my boyfriend as well and then keep one for ourselves because it was so delicious. So yes, so good. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day and yeah, I didn't really end up like vlogging the rest of the day. I mean, I just had a workout and stuff. Um, but man, the bread turned out so good. I'm actually gonna try making some rosemary roasted garlic bread today, but I don't think I'm gonna show that, but instead I was gonna show you my leg workout. It's gonna be the same as I showed you guys previously, except I'm gonna show the at-home alterations where no equipment is necessary. So I will show you that and just tack that onto this video. Hope you guys are all doing well. You're safe, you're healthy. Man, it's crazy. Like I've luckily been able to fill my time well. I feel like learning how to bake and all that kind of fun stuff, but it's definitely not easy because it's like, I don't know, you know, you're quarantined from other people. So it's difficult. I'm always just on my phone talking to my boyfriend and it's just like, <laughs> I miss his face. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna try making that kind of bread. And then, yeah, so probably next time you'll see me is either for the end result of the bread or the workout. Yeah. Ugh, oh man. Okay, I've been awful keeping up with this vlog, so I'm so sorry. Um, but regarding the bread that I made, so I made a rosemary roasted garlic bread and it turned out amazing that my parents loved it and then I gave a loaf to my boyfriend and his brother and they are like obsessing over it. I'm like literally texting him right now about it <laughs> and it's just like makes me so happy and so I told him I'm like honey you tell me what kind of bread you want me to make and I'll make it so <laughs> I'm super excited to try different kinds of breads so sorry I didn't get to end up showing you but anyways we will now skip into the at home version of the workouts that I'm currently doing so that you guys can accomplish doing body splits but still at home because I feel like I think I said this before everyone who posts things on like Instagram and stuff it's like full body workout but like I don't know maybe you're a bodybuilder and you want to do body splits or you're not a bodybuilder and you just prefer to do body splits so well, I'll, sh I'll show you that all right see you then all right guys so luckily it is very easy to get a nice solid leg workout in the comfort of your room and easy to accomplish without any equipment. So I'm going to just show you a few different exercises that you can do in the comfort of your bedroom, living room, just your house pretty much um, in an easy version versus a little more difficult version. And of course, if you have weights, that's going to help it become a little more difficult. So we're going to start with like posterior hamstrings and glutes. All right, so I know the first one is one that many have seen before, but super easy to do on the side of your couch while you're watching TV and Netflix, cause you know, now you have all the time in the world to watch all your favorite shows and movies, which 
go and watch Lord of the Rings. Highly recommend it. But anyways, to do this, obviously, it's quite self-explanatory. Lean up to like the middle of your back and using, leaning on your heels, drive your hips up. And that's just like a simpler version. Of course, if you want to make it a little more difficult, go single-legged. So you can stick it out, stick it in, however is easiest for you. But just focus on hips driving up, squeezing with the glutes at the top of that motion. And that is probably one of the best for glute hamstring. Mainly glute, but it hits the glute hamstrings just a bit. And of course, if you want to do it easier, you can do it from the ground. Or there's versions where you can have your feet elevated, which maybe you'll see me down here. Yeah, you can kind of see me. Cool. But anyways, from here, same thing. It's a little different. I personally prefer to have my back up against the chair or the couch, whatever you're leaning up against. Super duper easy. I just recommend if you are going to do it for a few sets, hey, while you're watching a movie, four sets, 12 to 15, single legged, make it difficult if you can. Add some weight if you have that available in your house or some bands if you'd like. But anyways, that one's good for glutes and hamstring. All right, this next one is an awesome one because it can either be a more glute hamstring focused exercise or a more quad dominant exercise. So what we're gonna do are Bulgarian split squats off the edge of like a table, or not a table, sorry, a chair or a couch in which if you do a narrower stance, so hopefully you can see this pretty well, but a narrower, and focusing the weight on the front leg, of course, you're gonna hit a lot quads. Yet, I noticed if, here, let me see. All right, that's better. Okay, so yeah, if you do a further out stance where the front foot is further out, and then when you come down, you almost sit back, and then when you drive up, make sure you're using that gluten and hamstring area. And you can even lean forward a bit if you wanna make it more difficult, have a weight, grab a jug of milk, Grab your fat cat. Easy peasy. Not too bad. Of course, one of the easiest of them all that I don't really have to show you guys are simple squats. And those are nice because you can do it any kind of alternative. You can do it narrow if you want to hit more quads. Just shoulder width apart and that's going to hit overall legs. Or go wide, do more sumo with torso upright and you're gonna hit more glutes. So that's an easy one to do. You can always make it more difficult for yourself by doing single legged, you can do pistol squats. There's so many alternatives when it comes to simple body weight squats, but that's gonna be always helpful when it comes to just doing legs. But if you're focusing again on quads, I feel like quads are a little more difficult to just really nail, whereas like with glutes, you can just do the glute ham raises. My favorite exercise for when it comes to quads are either the Bulgarian split squats or doing very close lunges. Let me show you those really quick. So with a normal lunge, I feel as though people will have this stance where the knee is kind of further. So there's almost like a both 90 degree and 90 degree that people would create. Now, closing up your stance, where your knee's coming down to practically where your heel is. This is gonna put a lot more tension when you go up on your quad. Keep that foot very close, go down. The fact that your knee is bending more forward, it's pulling on that quad muscle. So don't be afraid of it going over your toe. I know a lot of people say when you're doing squats, don't let your knee go past your toe. Now, when you are doing like pl plits, not plit, Tom Platt squats, look those up, do your research. That guy would have his feet close and let his quads go further because it would create that stretch in the muscle, making your leg into like a lever or a piston. And so that it was quads that were bringing your leg back to a straight position versus any kind of hamstring or glute activation in that motion. So tr give those a try. 
do it just body weight, go across, you know, your living room or something while you're watching Lord of the Rings. Hey, Lord of the Rings is a long movie, so keep yourself busy while watching it. But anyways, again, you're going to just do it really close stance. Like, think of it as like you're creeping crawling. I don't know, something of the sort. So, of course, those are exercises you can simply do in your room. If you have bands, that always helps things a little more get a little more difficult, which helps increase load. So give that a try if you want as well. And of course, while you're standing up, cooking in the kitchen, just start, you know, doing calf raises. That one's an easy one to do. So it's super easy to figure out how to find exercises around your house. So that this is just like a little example of a leg workout. Um, if you want to do kind of deadlift stuff, I don't know, get two jugs of milk or something and just deadlift those. If you got two fat dogs, lift them and lunge your dogs across the living room as long as they like it. No animal cruelty. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video with the Cuban bread recipe as well as the at home body weight leg workout hopefully you guys are able to give those exercises a try um, and you're able to accomplish getting a good leg workout while at home during this quarantine season hopefully it ends soon of course so that we can go back to the gym but don't let that be an excuse for you not to get in a good leg workout so yeah but next video i do have another fun recipe as well as i'll include another at home alternative workout for you guys so we'll probably do some back or if you'd like to see chest, let me know what you want to see next. Otherwise, I will catch you then. And if you have any other baking recommendations, I'm like having way too much fun. Um, so let me know what else I should bake. All right, I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. And of course, subscribe to the channel because we have lots more to come. So yes, love you all. You're amazing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.